All right, so we apparently just got some interesting news slash leaks kind of sort of thing come out recently about Sonic Frontiers and pre-order info for the game. So let's go ahead and talk about this right now. All right, so if we just go to this website right here, GameCode.UK, you will find info on Sonic Frontiers pre-order info for PS5, Xbox, PS4, and Nintendo Switch. And this is actually really legit. It is legit. If you come right here to, if you click on like one of the games, you will be able to find info on the game. You'll get to like watch the trailer that came out for it. Get to check out and see pre-order now back right there. And it says 65 pounds. So I'm not sure how the pounds to US dollars translates. I'm, I don't know how it works because I'm not British, so I wouldn't know. So I'm pretty sure that would mean 65 dollars here in America. I don't know. I'll have to check and see. But yeah, this is legit. Um, you can just clearly see right here. And you can also click on the screenshots and stuff like that. Like you pretty much you can see, like it's on the official Sonic Frontiers website. And also you can check out the screenshots. It's like on PlayStation Store, Xbox Store. And I think you can check them out on Steam as well. I've not checked yet. But you can also, you for some reason you can't check them out on the Nintendo Switch, which is odd and doesn't show a good sign. But whatever. Let's go ahead and talk about the different prices for these uh, for this pre-order info. So obviously right off the bat you can see that the Nintendo Switch version is 60 pounds and not 65 pounds like the other versions of the game. And that is a little bit concerning for the Switch version because I mean they might just do the usual and just uh, you know uh, pretty much stop it down like they did with Sonic Forces and Sonic Colors Ultimate to uh, 30 frames per second and it won't be like 4K 60 like uh, the modern console versions will be. Um, that's not much of a huge loss because the Switch version is obviously not going to be, like, the Switch is not powerful enough to clearly look like it handles something like this, like, it can't even handle Sonic Colors Ultimate, so, I mean, I, I never suspected that this version would be, um, superior, or even, like, in the slightest, like, holds up well like the others, I, I never really suspected that at all, much at all. So, that's a little bit something interesting, um, that they did bring the price down again I'm not really too sure how if pounds transfers over to the United States I'm not really sure but as far as I can tell this shows that this is for the first time in a long time a $60 Sonic game in fact over that a $65 Sonic game again I'm just assuming that the pounds transfers over here to America US dollars but this is huge because it shows that Sega does care and they do have confidence in this game. And that honestly can put a lot of us Sonic fans to ease, like put our minds to ease because um, a lot of people are suspecting that they didn't delay the game for quality. People are suspecting that because in the in-game trailer they showed off at the Game Awards, people are speculating that the game isn't ready yet because they haven't shown any gameplay. Even though actually this does remind me of a topic that came out earlier this week. Um, recently, the Sega Japan Instagram account um, posted a picture, which everybody's covered this, but I'll go ahead and go a little reference at it. Um, pretty much in the bottom of the post of the multiple languages that Sonic Frontiers will be supporting, uh, you can see a little screenshot of Sonic over the cliff, and um, people are pointing out that, oh, it's the Forces model, stuff like that, you know, just a lot of that. And um, me personally, I mean, I was looking at the screenshot, and I think Sonic's quills look longer. And, I mean, we don't know anything about the idle animation. Like, we don't know anything about the model. So, it does look like the Forces model a little bit, which does make me scared because um, nobody likes Forces. And, I mean, hopefully we can see um, more on this at South by Southwest. But, yeah, that's pretty much been a lot of the drama for this week for Sonic Frontiers. Again, we'll just have to wait till South by Southwest to come around so we can see more info on the game and see what we can hear. And if Sega, what Sega will have to show off, even though I don't know, we don't know if Sonic will be there. At the time of this recording, we don't know if Sonic's there yet, so we'll have to wait and see. That's all I wanted to show you all real quick. Um, there isn't much to talk about besides the fact that this is a $65 Sonic game, and it's going to be high price. Sega has confidence in this game, and I'm excited. I will pay the full price of a Sonic game, and you should pay the full price of a Sonic game. We all should pay the full price of a Sonic game, because I think Sega is putting all their time and effort into this game. Now, if you want to disagree with me, let me know in the comments. Say, if you think Sega is just lying, and they're just, I don't know, come up with whatever excuse you have, come on. We'll have a discussion in the comments, all right? Anyways, that's all I got for you today. See you later. Peace out. Let me know in the comments what you think of this pre-order info dropping. Anyways, see you later, guys.